about to launch. We're gonna go get some ice from Fisherman's Wharf and then we are going offshore fishing. You guys stay tuned. Oh yeah, there's some fish, probably jacks. Yeah, I got some big marks. Come on, Mr. Cobia. Some bait, yeah, we had a nice cloud of fish. I think that was possibly a school of jacks. Maybe spade fish, sheep's head, who knows. Give her a good rev. She's gotta wake up the wing, it's early. What is that? What is that? Is that a jack? Yeah, it's a jack. Jack. I'll put you in here. Yeah, get us out. Yes, go. I guess we were marking jack. That was so cool, dude. All right, you're good. You're good. The current's drifting this way. Heck yeah. It was a big jack too, dude. Oh yeah, they came up and swacked it. We could keep it for snapper bait. Yeah, you're right. Or chum. Yeah. Shark bait. Yeah. Solid. Did he eat the dude. snapper slapper? Yeah, he smoked it. About time. They really will eat it, we were. Yeah. Welcome back to another video. Deja vu from our last panga outing. Very similar to last trip. First stop, we hooked up to a jack out here looking for Ling again. But as I said before, as long as we're getting hooked up, pulling in fish, I'm happy. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna rig hop today, look around and hopefully get on them. We'll probably catch so many jacks. <laughs> we're gonna catch I mean, a lot of jacks. the first rig we pull up a jack at, then I would assume so. There's the shot. He's coming. I see him. Big boy. Big dude. Dude, this guy's fighting insanely hard. Got that juggernaut boat up. Golly. He is digging, dude. Dude, I'm actually getting a workout right deep now. Deep breaths, deep breaths. There he is. Look like you foul hooked him. No? Gosh, well, he missed the hook, so it's not in his mouth. There you go, pop him. <laughs> Hooked his face, that thing is buried in there. Look at that. Hook just came out. Hooked his freaking face. That was a very clean cut. Well, there you go. Jacks are still in thick, and I guess they're hungry. This is a nice, nice Jack Corbell. We're gonna keep him for bait today. Maybe fish for some sharks or just drop down big chunks for snapper. Nevertheless, fun fight, good start to the day. Hopefully the action stays hot. Well, how about that? Like I said in the previous Panga fishing video out here offshore, our main goal for today is to catch Ling. But honestly, as long as we're hooking up, getting tight, and catching fish, I'll be happy. I ain't complaining about catching those Jack Carvel. Now they're not the greatest to eat. We don't eat them. Definitely not the ribeye of the sea, but they're super, super fun to catch. And it's nice to catch them offshore because you don't have to fight the jetty rock. So we won't be breaking off like crazy. 
So yeah, you guys stay tuned. We're gonna hit many, many more spots today and we'll see what we can find. There you go. They like that eel. Fisher oh, is on. Oh, oh. I just got smoked. What do you got? I have a Five sneaking like suspicion. Like oh my gosh, look at this. I just got completely oh, murked. Jack, the little one. No wonder he wasn't fighting that hard, the baby. Yeah, that's probably one of the smallest jacks I've seen all year. Good shark bait right there. There we go, jack number two. I think that is what Fisher hooked this into a second ago. Definitely. Hey, I'd rather lose a jack than a wing. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, this is nothing. You know? We catch plenty of these guys. Red snapper? Yeah. No way. Let's Dude, go. That's off on an eel. On an artificial lure. <laughs> better than a jackfish, huh? Oh, tastes way better. Dude, that's awesome. I knew they were lurking, but I didn't know if we were gonna get one on the artificial lure. <laughs> this Good job, dude. It's the only lure I've used all day. Give me some. That's solid. Now that actually in belongs in the ice. That's box. worth throwing in the box. Well, how about that? Not the first fish I was expecting to see get put in the boat that tastes good. I was thinking we were gonna maybe find some ling, but it makes sense, we're out here on the oil rigs, those red snapper are lurking and they do in fact eat those big jigs with those eels on them. So I'm stoked, Fisher got a really, really nice eating fish in the boat. Honestly, that was the second best thing that could have happened today. We might just go snapper fishing from here on on these rigs. I might put on a bait setup, drop down there and see if we can get a couple more bites. Uh, but I think I'm gonna persevere with the ling jig for a little bit and see if we can get one of those. If not, I think we can uh, hopefully get a couple more red snapper. So you guys stay tuned. All right, let's see what she's got. Show us the big brown thing. Come on, come on. Oh, it's off. Dang gum it. Wasn't giant, kind of felt like a small snapper. Just one of those deals sticking up. There we go. There we go. Can we keep them on? I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. That's a big fish. And he's down there about 60 feet. Oh my gosh. Oh. Dude, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I lost him. That was giant. Still got my lure. I don't know why I'm not getting them hooked. Well, I got a scale. Tell me what you think that is. Now that is what we should have been throwing all along. That right there is about to get slurped.
There we go. Hopefully this thing will stay on in the dry box. Okay, chill. <laughs> Big fish. Big fish on. Second or third drop with the new eel. I hope we have a red snapper. It's coming up now like a red snapper. Oh yes. Dude, let's go. Give me some. Big fish. Dude, they are swarming out here. I'm so stoked for that. Dude, we're catching these things on artificial. That means we probably hooked like at least three or four. That other one I lost, I lost two fish here that were really good. And that just makes me think that they were big snapper. But hey, let's see if we can get some more. Let's put this dude in the boat. Let's go. All right, look at that. Stud. Stuck that dude. I am super, super pumped. Solid red snapper. They're munching on the eels. That's dude. Sick. A good one, that dude. is a nice, nice state water, early season red snapper. That right there is my first red snapper since the freeze. We went out once right afterwards and it was dead. So it is very, very good to see that these fish are back and munching. And what's even better is that these things taste way more amazing than most of the fish on these rigs, like Jack's. <laughs> we don't even need bait. We're getting them on the eels, artificial, y'all. Look at that, we got a beautiful knockoff yellowfin tuna, and now two stud snapper. It's like you gotta put it right there on the rig where that main column blocks the current and it will actually sink down straight. Then we're just bouncing the bottom. There we go. Oh yeah, he's pulling on the snapper. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> on the artificial. Whoa. No way. Keep it, bro. Is that a slot? Yes, that's a slot. Here, that's watch awesome. Out. Well, his air bladder is just about popped. That is my first redfish at the oil rigs. These eels are tearing it up. That is a slot redfish. Yeah, 100%. Crushed the eel. We're just bumping the bottom. Look at that eel right in the corner of his mouth. Hook just went out. This dude's air bladder is super inflated. Anyways, so I think we are going to keep this fish. If we are inshore, I'll let them go, but it seems like these big reds have found refuge in this deep offshore water. Jax, red snapper, now redfish. What an unbelievable day. We're not even ling fishing anymore, we're just dropping for snapper. Hooked up. Oh yeah, I guess the bait setups are oh, doing the trick. You got a donkey. Let's go. Make sure we're rolling. Oh, this is a big snapper. Please stay on. Please cut me the snapper. Just focus on the fish. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. I might have to put a jack on. God, this must be a giant. Dude, what if he's like 25 pounds? I just want to see how big he is. I'm going to help you land it. Yeah, get the gaff. I don't think oh we need gosh. it. Oh my gosh. Big snapper. Oh my gosh. He's huge. That might be one of the Grab his gear. biggest oh snapper I have gosh. ever seen in my life. That's huge. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, he's a giant. Dude, he's 25 pounds. Dude. That is a 25 pound snapper. Dude! Give me this stud! That is one succulent beast! Whoa, 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 ow! 
Look at that monster. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm not even kidding, you guys. I think this fish is pushing 25 pounds. That is a bruiser of a snapper. I think we can hang some fish up at the end of the day oh today. Oh my gosh. We're gonna be Look hanging some fish up. Look at that stud. This is right beside my body. Look at how big he is. No long arm needed. Great of one satisfied. <laughs> I stole your rod. So I put my rod down to mess with the ice so he picks it up and puts a stud. I picked it up and I started reeling a little bit and all of a sudden it got smoked. We're way out here off the spot too. Oh yeah. Not quite as big, but that's still a beast. Just had to steal Fisher's rod for a second. He had that nice Carolina rig with a circle hook. And we got him. He might be swimming with it. I just got smoked. They're just thumping it. Last ones are always the hardest ones. Almost every time I've tried to catch snapper, and I decided I only want one more, the last one just does not cooperate. There you go, you're on. I was a keeper too. Yeah, I know. Well, there we go. Woo! He's throwing. Dude, this is a donk. That's the second biggest of the day. Yeah. Oh, wrong way. All right, last snapper of the day. We're gonna call it here. I think we got plenty of meat. We only have one regular sized Yeti, so that's probably gonna fill it up to the brim.